Alrighty, so this video is actually a pretty, it's kind of like an announcement video. It's a pretty important video. It's definitely an important video. It's a very it's important video. It's not an announcement video. Okay, well it's an important video. It's an important video. Yeah. Yes. So, as a title, the title is something like a new way of publishing, right? We've been publishing for over two years and just throughout the process you learn more and get better. Like mm -hmm. always, we're always learning and getting better. That's never ending. Never ending. Mm -hmm. And then over the last few months, we've just learned a lot from taking our uh, joint publishing account from zero to over 11,000 in five months. Mm -hmm. so royalties, process, and royalties in that month, not net profit. Yeah. Royalties in that month. So we've just learned a lot from that. And I want to talk about how that has changed from our previous approach and then what we're going to be doing from now on. And it's very different. Mm -hmm. It's very different. Very different. Very, right. very, very different. Yeah. And I'm very yes. excited to talk about it and mm -hmm. share it with you guys. Mm -hmm. So with that said, also over the next coming months, we will be making a lot more. Well, we'll go back to making some publishing tutorial videos. Well, the, some how I want to say how to videos. How to videos. The reason being. Every time someone asks us about a question about how to do something within publishing, we always say that we have a video on it because it's true. We have like 100 how-to publishing tutorial videos on our channel and we always say, go check that out because that is what you should do. But a lot has changed in the past six months, months, whatever, since we made those how-to videos to the point where they can get a lot better. Uh, everything we've learned uh, changes how we do everything. Uh -huh. So basically, we want to remake a lot of how-to videos just so that you are now up to date with the new best way to do things uh -huh. and the best way to publish. And these are just our free YouTube videos, like all our other free ones. Yeah, that's basically what it is. So we will be doing more how-to videos, which are going to be way better. Yeah. So I want to talk about the general change that has happened in our way of publishing and what we're going to be doing from now on. Mm -hmm. So sort of the technique beforehand was scale Pump, pumping out volume of books yes and right? which works it works yeah. it really does proven it changed our life uh -huh. okay. but it can get much better mm -hmm. so how that has really changed is that instead of ordering many books at once and just going volume mm -hmm. we're going to be spending much more time on each individual book smaller book orders same book size each of the book but like maybe four books at a time instead of 10 or 15. Uh -huh. And then focusing on these four and just making them super, super, super epic. Yes. And then also, it will of make of us wait. It's like a lot less books, but it will, it will make us and anyone else who does it way more money in the long run. And we'll explain why afterwards. And much more ROI as well. Yes. So, and then sort of, sort of instead of like shotgunning, just a bunch of different books with a bunch of different pen names. Which works. We want to build a pen name in each niche each niche one in each niche yeah so all the books we're publishing in the same niche will all have the same pen name so we can but that only works if you have high quality books if you have low quality books you have a shit book and then someone reads it now they're never ever gonna buy a book from you again mm -hmm. it'll actually be counterproductive to use the same pen name across the entire niche but if you have high quality books you can seriously build a brand that will then feed each other and just, that's that's really the new direction of what we're going to be doing with our uh -huh. own publishing business. And for me, the big reason why I was always turned off by like one pen name in one small niche is because like you're limited to what you can publish mm -hmm. because you're limited in one area, the same area of interest. But if you start building something in every different niche, any new keyword trending topic that people are buying and want to learn about, you can publish because you have the right brand everywhere. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Yeah. So what this includes also when you're, you know, focusing on one pen name, one niche is an email list. Mm -hmm. The email listing is something that a lot of people have talked about and most people know that it's a thing that you can do, but we've kind of, we've not used it because you don't need to use it. We, we you don't need to, and we, we prove that. We do it, but not very much uh -huh. basically. So that's going to be, going to be a big focus as well. Also because it's so, it's really easy. Very it's easy. not hard at all. Mm -hmm. It takes time, but so does, publishing mm -hmm. publishing takes time mm -hmm. it's not like a get rich quick sort of thing mm -hmm. so the email list is worth it in that sense yeah so there's the brand building side brand brand building side and then also as our course is called audiobook income academy we focus a lot on audiobooks we're going to be putting more focus on the ebooks and the paperback specifically books. paperback specifically paperback because of as you may know ams ads also known as now aa ads i've heard of so many people that are using this make ridiculous amounts to of money. really make a lot of money yeah. if you know how to do it right. Yeah. So what I'm focusing on right now is I don't know if I 
call myself going to be an expert, but I want to be really good at AA ads. Yes. I want to be really good at it and I want to teach it as well. Yeah. So you guys can use it as well. We'll have um, how to tutorials. It's just, it's just something that we're totally, totally neglecting. It's just free money on the table we that, use that we're not taking. See, it's in, like we know everything about publishing, but we want to go deeper everywhere. Mm -hmm. Learn more about Amazon, ad mm -hmm. Amazon ads. Yeah. Uh, because like we do very well with our publishing businesses, but I know we could do a lot better. And I, we're just scratching the surface of the potential of what we are publishing mm -hmm. business and publishing mm -hmm. brands can be. Yeah. You know? Now, why make this change? So it all comes down to money. You build a brand to make money. More money over the long run. A lo more longer term sustainable business. Mm -hmm. Instead of one that dies off mm -hmm. kind of thing. Um, but the next topic I want to talk about is why exactly focusing on high quality with every step in the publishing process, why that will make you so much more money. Yeah. So first, focusing on quality in every step in the publishing process, I guess that could be a different video. But specific, specifically, there's one big specific one. That is the book itself. The book itself. And why exactly focusing on super high quality and not publishing a book until it's really fucking good will make you a shitload of more money in the long run. Okay. And it all comes down to, this is what I, I kind of had this eureka moment where I, I, I realized this. It all comes back to a feedback loop. Now a feedback loop is like a series of cause and effects that starts and then it goes back in itself and feeds itself. Feedback loop, like success feeds success, failure feeds failure. You have six, a person who has success will have more and more success. A person who fails will keep on failing kind of thing. And how that applies to publishing, something that I call the review feedback loop. It's all because of the review feedback loop. And let me explain. So let's say you have two books. They are the exact same book on the outside. Let's say Keto Diet for Beginners, whatever. Everything's the exact same. Same title, same cover, everything. The only difference, so those are constants. The only difference is the variable, which is the book itself. The information, the writing, the everything on the inside of the book the only difference between the two. You publish them both, they will both do equally well the first month. Let's start with the bad book we'll talk about. You publish it, people will buy it, you made sales, you made money, people bought it, people listened to it, these are real customers who are reading and listening to your audiobooks. People will leave bad reviews, naturally, like you're selling it to someone, they feel like they got cheated almost, and they're gonna leave a bad review, cause like, oh, no one buy this book, cause I did not have a good experience. And then over time, your shitty book is going to accumulate bad reviews organically. There's nothing you can do. It will get bad reviews over time. So it will get bad reviews. Because it has bad reviews, the sales will drop. And when the sales of your book drops, then the keyword ranking drops. So that people can't find the book anymore. And then when people can't find it, the sales drop again. And then during this whole process, it will keep on getting bad reviews. It will slow down. It will eventually die out. Mm -hmm. The book will die out. Uh, and then we have this other book that's the exact same, but it's great. It will make sales, uh, people will buy it, listen to it, and they'll love it. They'll be like, damn, this was a really good book. I learned a lot about keto, whatever the fuck it is. So then they're actually going to leave good reviews. They're going to share it with people, whatever. They'll leave good reviews, and then when a book has good reviews, it will get more sales. Reviews play a really big role in selling a lot of things online, specifically publishing here. People only buy books with social proof and with reviews. So more reviews means more sales. And the more sales a book makes, the higher its keyword ranking is going to be. Meaning it's going to have better SEO, it's going to rank for keywords better so people can find it. And then because it has a higher keyword ranking, it's going to make even more sales. And the more sales it makes, the better keyword ranks it's going to get. And then it's going to get more and more better reviews because it's a good book. It will keep on getting good reviews and a bad book will keep on getting bad reviews. So a bad book will die out over time while a good book will get stronger. It will literally cement itself and get stronger over time and can make whatever is $1,000 a month every month for years. While the bad book can make $1,000 the first month and then die down to $10 a month after 12 months. So I wanna it all <coughs> comes back to that. Yeah. It all comes back to that. And so that is the grand focus of things. So with all that said, and implementing new things, with all that said, the new primary focus for us is the quality of the book itself the writing and the information inside of the book. And that now, no, that includes, is our number one focus. It yeah. includes narration as well. Narration as well, but that goes into quality. But getting good narration is a lot easier. All you do is hire a more expensive 
narrator basically mm -hmm. um, but there's a lot that goes into having the best book written it's a lot more uh, you're a lot more involved in the writing of the book so yeah that's what it is we were going to show you guys exactly how we go through the process of getting a really high book created that but that also focus. that also goes into the next subject which is that I think many people know about this that we are making an, a 2.0 version of our course audiobook income Academy remake of the entire course and the reason why is because we felt that the 1.0 version the one we have now is not it's not what it can be and it does not teach at all what we're talking about right now yeah it's it's outdated it's outdated at this point yeah so the 2.0 is going to be first of all insanely epic we're working so hard on it right now oh that's why we're maybe like a third of the way through maybe yeah. a little bit further yeah oh, and it, oh fuck. Yeah. it's so good but it's going to include everything everything a part of the new way that we're going to be publishing everything um you won't need anything any other resource you won't that. need any other course about how to write description any course yeah. about how to do ams ads any course about how to do paper paperback and sh all yeah. that shit also uh anyone who buys 1.0 is upgraded 2.0 for free it's not just to double charge anyone mm -hmm. you can upgrade for free it's just to make what we have better like 1.0 goes away it's not like we have two courses mm -hmm. we just have one that's that's the everything it's all about just providing the best material content resources uh, so that people can have the most success. That's all what it comes down to. So, That's if you are a course creator in the space and you're trying to compete with us. I packed your bags. Good luck. I packed your bags. You yeah. will not be able to live up to this level of quality yeah. and information that we're going to be giving. Yes. Um, so yeah, that's something that I want to talk about. And also this, we said we're going to be coming out with many how-to videos over mm -hmm. the next coming months mm -hmm. about this sort of new way of publishing that we're going to be doing mm -hmm. and have just started doing. So these how-to videos are going to be very informative and you can, you can start a publishing business and scale it incredibly just off of the YouTube videos we're going to be putting out. And the ones okay. that we already have out. And the ones we already have, but more so the ones the that come updated, out even better. Up to date ones we're going yeah. to be making. Because that's just how we are. We just give that free shit. Right. So that's they, why a lot of people buy our course and not other people's courses, because we have the best free information, free yeah. content. Like your free shit is this good, so your patient must yeah. be also better than everyone yeah. else's. So then you might think, well, why the fuck do I need to buy a course if everything on YouTube channel is enough to build my publishing business? You don't, technically. You technically don't need to. But if you want to be handheld every single step of the way, being shown exactly, sorry, let me say that again, exactly what to do, that's what the course is for. Yeah. Where like, there's no guesswork, I literally tell you to do it and you just move your finger and you do it. It's still right. an investment that makes you more money back if you choose to do the investment. Let's sum this up. I don't just want to sit and talk about that. Yeah. Well, I just want to say that is all step by step. What, blah, 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 blah. Okay, like you said, we don't want to talk about that. So yeah, that's what we want to say, this new, age of publishing that's what we're spending every day on right now mm -hmm. so much time all right so that covers everything you wanted to say and i'm just i'm really excited i kind of am more passionate about publishing again oh yeah with this new way of doing it yeah so look forward to videos and of course have suggestions about specific how-to videos that you'd like yeah we also Definitely have a downloads. bunch lined up yeah um i'm not saying they're going to be the next ones but they will be coming over the next months all right my ma secret magic emoji of the day is yeah. the Curling emoji. Yeah, drop that down below if you watch this to the end. Curling emoji. Comment what what how-to videos you'd like, um, or any videos in general. That's in this video. Thank no. you. What? Come on. With all this good shit coming up, you gotta make sure to subscribe and okay. also like the video. Yeah, that's all.